Hi everyone, Titi Mora here with The Why, bringing you tools to feel well in your body, mind, and spirit. So today we're gonna to be turning on those lower abdominals with some core strengthening and stabilizing. So all you'll need today is a mat and a spare pair of yoga pants. Now, um, the reason we're using the yoga pants is really to mimic a TheraBand. So if you have a TheraBand at home, feel free to use that instead. If you don't, feel free to use your yoga pants or really anything with a little bit of give in it because it's going to um, provide us a little resistance and add to the intensity of the exercises we're gonna do here today. So I will meet you down on the mat here. And we're gonna start sitting up. I'll sit facing towards you to start. You can cross your legs, crisscross applesauce, however feels good for you. But we're just gonna start by opening up the upper body so that when we move into the uh, more accentuated stabilizing routine, this will be open and you'll have the posture and alignment that will help us sink into that um, great place. So you're gonna hold your band about shoulder distance apart here. And as we're doing this, just take a second and note where your shoulders are. So we don't want to have them hiked up, up by the ears. We want to have them relaxed down and away from those ears. So what we're going to do is we're just going to start by opening that band and releasing it. Now you can choose the intensity of this. So if you want a little less resistance, or a little more resistance, you can move your hands along that TheraBand or yoga pant. So we're opening and closing. And so now as we open that band, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears, keeping that rib cage soft, we're gonna open those arms up, bring them down behind the head. Back and front, closing the band here. And let's do that a couple more times here at your own pace. Remembering just to let those shoulders relax. Let that rib cage just stay soft, which actually is quite a challenge if you think about keeping that posture in alignment. Let's take that one more time, nice and slow, so you can keep an eye on how everything stays in alignment. Closing that band, and you can rest that for a moment. So the next thing that we're gonna do, and then we're gonna add this to, um, the low abdominals. So the last thing that we're gonna do is you can keep your elbows bent or you can have them stretched out here, but we're just gonna open this band, rotate, and I want you to think about your heart space being in line with the center of the band. So as you twist, you're not just moving the band, you're really moving your sternum leading with that sternum and the band is just following. And keeping that posture, so keeping your throat behind your heart, keeping those shoulders down and away from the ears, remembering to breathe. Last time in this direction. Okay, so now we're gonna layer this onto our uh, low abdominal sequence. So I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see me here, but you're gonna have your feet flat on the mat, your knees can be bent. You can set your TheraBand aside for just a moment and find your posture. So whether right now you need to grab onto your legs, that's fine, but just finding that posture where again, your shoulders are, are down and away from the ears, your throat is behind your heart. And so your spine is in that good alignment. And so once you've found that, we're gonna take a little pelvic curl
curl here on the mat. So what that's going to feel like as you're sitting up is most of your weight, if you imagine the back pants pockets of your pants, most of your weight is on the very bottom of that pants pocket. So you're going to just roll that weight to the top of the pants pocket. So you're sort of sitting back a little bit and rolling back up. So finding that little pelvic curl and back up. Last time, and we're going to stay in that curled state. So rolling your weight from the bottom of what would be your pants pockets, those back pants pockets, to the tops. And then we're going to take a little hinge back here. And then bringing yourself back up, uncurling. And let's take that a couple times. Now, if you want a little extra challenge, you can let your hands just rest wherever, or you can keep them on your legs here. But just hinging back right until you feel that there's a little bit of compromise to your core stability here. So right until you feel like those low abdominals start to turn on to help you out. We'll take that one more time. Taking your pelvic curl first before hinging back right until you feel those low abdominals start to turn on and help you. Bringing yourself back from your hinge and then uncurling. So now we are going to layer on the work that we did before. So you're gonna take one of your pant legs here and we're gonna start by curling that pelvis, hinging back. Now you've got your TheraBand. We're gonna open that band and then bring that overhead. Remembering to breathe, bring that back right in front of you, unhinge and uncurl. And so we'll do that a couple times here, really just feeling into the pace that works for you. Feel free to pause the video if you want to take it nice and slow or if you want to add in additional repetitions. So let's start with that little pelvic curl and your hinge back. And then opening that band and sending it overhead. And again, taking your little pelvic curl your hinge back, opening your band. And we'll do that one more time. set that band aside. You can bring your legs to a crossed position here and if you've been feeling your hip flexors a little bit, maybe they were helping your lower abdominals turn on a little bit, we can do a little stretch for that just to finish up. So what you're going to do is you're going to bend one leg, the other is going to be flat on the mat, shin flat on the mat. Let me tilt that camera down just a little bit more. Okay. And so what we're going to do, I'll switch legs so you can see a little bit better here. What we're going to do is simply reach that quad and that hip flexor forward in space just a little bit so you have a stretch here. Take a nice deep breath into that space before bringing that back. And we'll take that again. Bringing it back. Let's take that one more time before we switch. Really leading with that quad and hip flexor. Taking a nice deep breath into that space. And then we'll switch sides. So again, leading with that quad and hip flexor. Sending them forward slightly. Taking a nice deep breath into that space. We'll take that one more time.
And then you can go ahead and return to sitting on the mat here. I'll tilt this up just so you can see my face. So I hope you enjoyed this sequence and I'll see you back here next time on the Wise YouTube channel with more tips and tools to help you stay feeling well in your body, mind, and spirit.